Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. The time has come. Rebirth Island is coming our way in season three. And with that, today, we got our very first look at the return of Rebirth, arguably the most requested, maybe just behind Verdansk map that we've ever had in Warzone. Well, it's coming back and let's jump into our very first look at what to expect with the return of Rebirth. All right, I've got no idea if we're going to be able to have audio but this is Rebirth. And right away, the first thing I notice is that the map doesn't look wildly different. There's no giant crack in the middle of it. First things first, we got our clear sunny day. No overcast, no rain, no nothing. It just looks clean. It looks simple. And like I said, not drastically changed. We're obviously going to see several new skins. Was that like a predator looking skin? wild looking skins here this is all season three content keep in mind so pay attention for certain weapons that characters are holding pay attention to certain operator skins vehicle skins blueprints all this stuff will be season three content these look kind of wild this guy looks like he's got a tin can on his head uh we got the atv or whatever this guy's prone crawling through the grass that looks like they're in a bunker underwater so already already we've got new changes confirmed for rebirth islands we kind of expected this. I've said this several times since they announced or leaked that Rebirth was going to be coming back. There was going to be underwater, uh, you know, mechanics to this. The uh, the water around the island was probably going to be accessible. This looks like it's straight up under the map here. They're crawling into this area. So, like, they're lighting it up so they can see. And then they're in the actual, like, tunnels filled with water. Kind of an interesting change there. Hopefully, it doesn't affect, like, end circles. Welcome back to Rebirth Island. I'm definitely going to have this muted, by the way, because there's certainly copyrighted music here. We got some akimbo pistols rolling up. Of course, it's epic cinematics all over the place. We got the zip lines, of course, the worst aim possible, but it's into cool executions and finishers that will definitely never happen that naturally in game, but it's cool for the cinematics, right? You've got the prison areas. The lighting looks to be roughly the same as it was back on, you know, OG Rebirth on the inside. Not too dark, not crazy bright or anything. Like I said, roughly the same across the board. A lot of operator skins that we're seeing. For, I would assume the season three battle pass. We, of course, have plenty of vehicles and more cinematic stuff. Stuff that you'll never actually be able to do in game, but it looks cool in the trailer. What is this evil rabbit looking skin? If this is season three battle pass stuff, what what is this battle pass going to be? I mean, all the leaks that we've seen so far are like, there's no actual official in-game lore to any of these. It's like Snoop Dogg and Devin Booker and whatnot. So like... Maybe they're just going all out on nothing makes sense here. It's just here. We'll have to wait and see. But that's a wild looking evil rabbit. Getting rezzed up. Leave no friend behind. Okay, so this looks a little different. It's almost like this building. Is this, is this long outside of like the prison yard just down to the right there? It looks like it has partially been crushed. So maybe they're just making it so that this building has more than one entryway. It's not just like the doors or the, uh, you know, stairs going up to a side door. They just crushed the roof in a little bit on this one side. Interesting looking there. Like we saw on the infill, there's no like major crack. Okay, that's actually center of prison right there that was crushed down. That's not that changed. I'm sorry. Did the tower just fall? It definitely got hit by an airstrike. Is that something that can actually happen in game? There is no way, right? Warzone just got bigger. Play anywhere on mobile. What is that transition? Like some Blue's Clues type stuff. That is that. Wait, hold up. Hold up. We'll have to go through this again. That's the tower smashed on the front of prison. Okay, so there are changes being made here. Is this dynamic? map updates because on the infill i'll have to go back and look in a second it didn't fully seem like that was going to be the thing on the uh on the initial drop in but that's definitely the lighthouse or the tower there smashed into the front of prison and that whole building they were just driving over it in season three play for free on april 3rd but the tower is up right here 
So are they teasing that dynamic weather is gonna be a thing? Also, we get a look at our season three operators here, of course. Uh, it looks like it's gonna be Coney Group themed. They all have the Coney Group stickers and patches on them. So I guess we are gonna have some lore, but then all the cosmetics and everything's gonna be actually just crazy looking right uh we have all those wild skins we'll go back through we'll play it through again as i'm talking here but yeah you can see on the general infill here this is very different from what we saw in some of that gameplay long here is fully intact the top of the prison does have the slight hole but it's also had that before the tower here is fully intact as well so either there is purely cinematic stuff going on here or rebirth is in fact going to have some kind of dynamic updates happening throughout a match where you could actually knock over uh you know the lighthouse tower thing you could actually go through and crush the roof of the long building really curious if we get more information on this in the coming days like with a full-on reveal what exactly is going on here but i do like for the most part that the lighting is bright and it's vibrant. It's not weird lighting or a different skybox that makes things very awkward. I also like that it seems like maybe sub some of the dynamic changes, the map is roughly the same. You can also zip line on the gondola now. I didn't even realize that rather than just having to take the gondola up and down, you can actually use the zippy to speed things up a little bit. But for our first look at Rebirth, definitely uh refreshing to see that there's no giant crater going through the entire center of the map like on fortunes keep they've roughly kept it one to one and then obviously their little sub plug of this entire trailer is hey look at all these crazy new skins that we've got going on here uh but i gotta say i'm excited for this i feel like this is a map that's always played well regardless you know the player counts they've done resurgence extreme where it's a ton of players the standard which is like 48 or something like that it's always flowed well and played well so it should in theory be very similar to what it was before back in OG Warzone 1, of course. Then we get a, the uh, the destruction, the levolution, I think is what Battlefield called it way back when. Really interested to find out what's going on with the map changes there because we've seen several different things throughout this trailer. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel or if you have not subscribed yet, we got a lot of stuff upcoming here with the full season three reveal, the roadmap, obviously the seasonal launch and all the patch notes. Every single day, I got you covered with all things you need to know about COD, news, updates, patch notes, the meta, it's all here. So feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications. Also, if you enjoy the video or if you're just excited for the return of Rebirth, do me a favor and drop a like it's always really appreciated there are a few other things i wanted to point out here in regards to the rebirth update in season three we do have the full-on map overview of rebirth island now so we can see the full-on tack map and it is the same pois that we've had back from og wars on one so it is control center's version of rebirth it's not going to be construction or anything it's control center everything else is going to be roughly the same we've got factory down there with the actual ship on the side we've got stronghold all expanded down here as well you also have a chance to get a brand new blueprint just themed around rebirth birthday so that's kind of the pun that they're throwing in with all of this it's not their birthday it's rebirth day and it kind of is a you know double meaning there but if you actually go on twitter and reply to call of duty's tweet here with your activision id then the hashtag rebirth day you end up getting this caked up weapon blueprint for the wsp swarm here so if you want a free blueprint that's like chocolate cover icing and like a birthday cake looking swarm you can go through and grab that for free and it'll be added to your account with the launch of season three there a uh, pretty easy way to get a free blueprint it would seem it's also kind of hard to see but at the very very end of the trailer with our new operators it does look like the more sniper is being held here we've obviously had this as a leaked sniper for some time the battle 27 and the moors being two of the main advanced warfare weapons returning for the season this would almost indicate that that is in fact going to be true based off of this image here but that being said that is everything we now know about rebirth after we've seen some actual gameplay on it and seen the full uh intro trailer for it so let me know your thoughts down in the comments below are you also as curious as i am to see about this whole dynamic map evolution thing going on here is it just for the trailer is it actually going to be in game what exactly is happening with that uh but yeah if you guys enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out